Hi guys, welcome to Farming Simulator 2015 with me T Belly. I'm uh, just going to do a tutorial on course play. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm just going to unload the combine into this tipper, then unload this tipper into the silo, and then rinse and repeat. So let's crack on. First of all, you want to right-click with your mouse button, and then you want to make sure that the second one's selected for the type com combi empty combine and offload and what I want to do there after that just get lined up a little bit uh, is click the start recording and basically this is the path it's going to take uh, to unload once it's been filled up from your combine so what I do just drive around here over there you don't have to stop because it will stop itself when it's when it's loaded up let me just come back here as you can see the green dots they're the the waypoints that it's showing you so I'll just stop there click the stop button uh, just so you can see all your waypoints if you when your settings and show waypoints you can have it at start and end only without the crossing point and I have it on show all just initially just so that I can see that the path's uh, good and it's easy to get onto and it's following the right one uh, like you can see there that's the full path so what we do now is we will uh, save that one as 23 tutorial save it there so now in the list it's 23, 23 tutorial so we can use that at any time so if I want to remove it now it's not assigned to it so if I wanted to load it back in just click that button there and it's loaded back in uh, so what we'll do now is we'll jump to the combine and just set the combine off which is this one just click H because we just want a standard worker on this one and what we'll do now is on this button here we'll select the combine that we're going to use which is that one there this is just going past and click OK and then in the settings uh, let me just explain something to you now. Uh, as you can see there, the start at point means that when that combine is 50% full, the tractor will go and uh, empty it. And at 90%, when the tipper is 90% full, that will go and empty into the silo. But if you've got pathfinding activated, this 50% is ignored if the pipe is feeding out onto the, the fruit. Uh, so it do it on this side as you can see as it's driving down there but on the way back it won't do it I'll show you anyway because I'll just click drive course so that's now waiting until fill level is reached I'll just uh, have a look at the combine oh. so it's 37% 38% as you can see when it turns round here the pipe will be feeding out into the field which for realism, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't, you wouldn't drive onto it. So I think that's what they've uh, added this function. Or you'll see it anyway. This feature, rather. Uh, as you can see, we're still there, just waiting patiently. As you can see, 43 percent, 44. And just keep on going. And as you can see, it's 50 and the tractor are moved. So what we'd need to do, if you if you don't want to disable that, is just to disable that pathfinding. And there you go, straight away it'll set off and it'll start start to uh, unload. As you can see at the bottom it says drive behind combine.
so it's just down to personal preference if you want the realism uh, then that's fine uh, it might still do it anyway on big fields uh, for what it is I don't mind I'll take the hit I just don't want it filling up and stopping basically <laughs> but that's just my preference and there we go it's offloading you can actually uh, there's, I mean, they've only scratched the surface with this, this is just a basic unload and uh, and drop off at the silo. Uh, I know there's more you can do, uh, by all means, if, uh, if there's something I've missed on this, by all means, tell me, I don't mind. Like I say, we'll just leave it now and see what it does when it gets, it should at 90%. What it's doing now is it's just moving out of the way of the combine so the combine can carry on. into a safe place there we go and it'll just wait there now and um, well, like I say once this tipper gets to 90% that should empty automatically into the silo what you can do as well is the com uh, combine. Sometimes the uh, the tractor or the tipper it, it'll, it'll be in a, an awkward way, it'll be black blocking the road or something or maybe it's just in a, in a way where somewhere else is in the room. You can actually just request the driver like that and he'll come uh, which is another good, a good little thing to know. click the said driver home, he'll just unload, he'll go and unload and uh, go back to his waiting position again. We'll just have a look at the there we go. Seventy nine. So we've only got 2%, I think he's just going to drive and just uh, get himself into a good position for the next pickup. So I need another 10% and then it should offload, so what we'll do is... It shouldn't take long because it's barley, so... That's what I aimed for on this field, which is a quick turnaround. So I'll call it now, I'll request the driver. There you go, he's coming now. I could have just left it to go to 50%, but I just want to show you the dynamics really. So not waiting around too long. go to there, so it's a hundred percent so as you can see it's turning off now what it should do is it should search for waypoint one which is the first waypoint that we started which is that orange dot it may even go to the second one because it's just on its path there you go I think it should follow this path around. I tend to do the waypoints out in the open because you have problems sometimes with the slipping and turning. It has a problem sometimes, it does uh, cost like only very rarely, but it's just obstacles. Trees for some reason didn't get in the way, and so do fences. But I think it's down to users as well, you know, if you plan it carefully, you should be okay. I say that's unloading there. As we go, we'll just fill it around to there. Let's look where the combine is. It's at 33%, so I won't 
and summon it again and just let it go through the process. And this should just wait at the end here. Seven percent, so it should get some in soon. See if it works, and off we go. There you go, that's how you automate your offloading. Well, I hope that's been of help. And uh, if you've got any questions or comments, by all means, leave them below. And uh, I'll see you later.